all right guys this is mithril back with another item guide video and uh man if you guys ever feel bad probably not as bad as me i did a whole review on a the stalker and just to realize i never hit record so we are here on the uh, the raid at digital peak we're gonna come here we're gonna go over here it's gonna uh, rocket jump on over rocket jump over here that way you can uh, fight the binary boss really quickly yeah i did a whole review on the stalker and uh, no recording was done luckily i am seeing it now that it is on so you come over here to this wall rocket jump up you come down here grenade jump oh this is gonna be a short oh all right now that we finally made it over just barely didn't make it binary boss spawns switch over to the b shield Let's not get hit with those and die. Okay. Gunzerk unfortunately ran out, so make sure to hit him. That way we get the better cooldown. As you can see down there with my skills. And we got him. Hopefully, it is something that we could use. Uh, and man, what is with him giving me all these unforgivens? Unfortunately, we got a unforgiven, so I have to do this one more time, and I will cut and come back. All right, sweet. This time we got the saw bar. So let me go down here and get the stalker that uh, I got and uh, unfortunately didn't do a review on. So instead, we got the saw bar. Sweet. Let's take a look at it. All right. It's got that purple bandit skin for ARs. Nice and like reddish orange. It's not bad. It's pretty basic, but I do like it. All right, it's red text is suppressing fires. All right, what that means is it's going to be always incendiary. It's never going to spawn in any other element. After a set time period, shots fired spawn three other projectiles that travel out at an angle before exploding. So let me show that off. It only happens once, but if you're at the right distance, yeah, you could uh, light somebody up. So, since it's fire, it's obviously going to work better on a flesh enemy, so let's go and uh, fight some psychos. Alright, we are here in the South Paul Steam, and what is it? Steam and something? Steam and power? There we go. Alright, that guy's got a shield, so obviously it's not going to work as good on this guy. Then you need to find the right distance to get all those explosions. All right, as you saw right there, didn't work very good. But then again, uh, it, it is a shield. What do you expect? All right, how is it going to work now? Man, that is a long reload, I will tell you that. Hmm, it worked decently on that guy. How about some slagged up enemies? Alright, he's definitely going to be slagged up after that. 
All right, and it actually works pretty decent against a uh, slag opponent. Not great, but decent. All right, now that this guy has no shield, let's see how it works on this guy. Hmm, slag not so great. Let's slag him up. As soon as I reload. And as you can see, having him slagged up. Eh, it's a little iffy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little iffy. Honestly, remember the saw bar being better. I don't think I'll even get this kill to revive. Oh, barely, but still. All right, this guy's flaming, so it's not going to do anything to him. Yeah, I remember this weapon being better. I'm not sure if it's just OP 10 or what, but. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the build I'm rocking or what, but it's honestly not doing very much. I know you're supposed to use the uh, projectiles that spawn after a certain time to get the maximum amount, but... Yeah, it's kind of being mid right now. Hmm, that is a shame. All right, so I think that was a pretty good uh, demonstration of what the saw bar can do. I do just remember it being better, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Yeah, it's um, kind of mid.